After the success of the first Sly Cooper game, Sucker Punch decided to go in a new direction with Sly 2. They expanded on the gameplay and designed the game in a completely new style, open world. I'm not sure what made them try a new style with a new Sly game, but it works so well that every Sly game since uses that formula started with Sly 2. After all, they could have just made Sly 2 another adventure platforming game, but no, they decided to expand upon all aspects of the already great game that they started with, and it worked perfectly. So it's been two years since Sly and his gang stole back the pages of the Thievius Raccoonus, and now this gang of criminals known as the Claw Gang stole the remains of clockwork that Interpol recovered. Each member uses the part or parts that they have for their own personal gains. Ingenious! Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates! Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out! Unlimited forged money! Sly's worried that without all the parts under lock and key at Interpol, they will somehow be put back together and clockwork will be back for revenge. So, Sly and the gang decide to steal all the parts back. The story is told through animated cutscenes, just like the first game. This time around, you get to play as not only Sly, but also as Bentley and Murray. Each character has specific strengths and weaknesses, and more importantly, specific tasks that they can do. For instance, Bentley uses gadgets and bombs, He hacks computers and comes up with the master plans, but isn't much of a fighter. Sly does the thieving and the sneaking and some fighting. Murray is the muscle of the group. He does the heavy lifting, is the strongest character, but doesn't sneak well. However, together they always get the job done. Bentley uses their strengths to assign jobs to each character during the heists. These are marked in the sky with a symbol of the character's face. Each job is supposed to be preparation for the main heist of stealing the clockwork park for that level. Each member of the Claw Gang has an interesting history and reason for using the parts from clockwork. The characters are colorful and believable, and once again, the voice acting fits them perfectly. It's the clocks, bro! Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I beam to you? Do you think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. Do you think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. Sly and Bentley can pickpocket guards and sell the items for coin on Thiefnet, the game's version of the black market. Every guard can be pickpocketed, but the ones with shiny back pockets have more valuable items. There are also items like artwork, ancient artifacts, and pottery that you can steal and sell. But it's not easy, because you have to carry them back to the safe house unharmed. Some of them even have time limits. Once you collect a bunch of coins, you can use them for buying new moves and gadgets. This makes fighting, or not fighting, a lot easier and adds welcome variety to the gameplay. The clue bottles make a return in Sly 2, and if you collect them all, you get to unlock the villain's personal safe. Inside, you'll find a new upgrade. The environments are designed beautifully. You can run through the streets avoiding guards' lights, or you can jump from rooftop to rooftop, climbing, rope walking, and sneaking your way around. It's a lot of fun navigating the open area, stealthily taking out guards, collecting clue bottles, and doing the jobs. The open world style of gameplay really adds to the feeling of being a thief that you get when you play this game. So, final verdict, is it worth playing? Yes, it is definitely worth playing. If you like the first one, I guarantee you like the second. They improved on the first game in every single way. However, having said that, my favorite of this series is the first. It might just be because of the nostalgia, but the first is my favorite. Anyways, go play it. Pick it up if you don't already have it. It's cheap on the PS2, or you can always get the HD Sly Collection on PS3.